extra gananas? Ec- extra ganana? Ec- extra gan- I have no idea what that means, but I desperately want to go in there. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, taking a look at Big Ambitions, or at least the demo thereof. A little teaser, a little taste from the game that I pulled off of the Steam Next Fest going on right now. As I understand it, trying to be a complete and total rags-to-riches game, we are starting out with basically nothing. And we're going to have to try and rise up and be in the biggest company in this city. Big Ambitions indeed. Let's jump right in. Well, right out of the gate, Uncle Fred here is being very, very helpful by telling me that his friend Rasputin owns a bunch of buildings and I can rent one for pretty much dirt cheap. I'm just going to blithely run down the middle of the street and hope this is going to work itself out. So 17 3rd Street here. All right, what could we do here? Come, come, come here, come here. 17 3rd Street, open it up. All right, I can rent this building for $69 a day. Not bad. Not bad, we can live with that. Gotta have somewhere to live, so let's go ahead and rent that building. Now what? Can we go in and take a look at it? Yes, we can. All right, I got a little apartment here. I've got a bed and a filing cabinet. What do I uh, What do I do with the filing cabinet? Is there anything I can do with this? Oh, I can move it around. Okay, cool. Uh, put it over there. That seems like a much better spot for that. Well, next on the list, I gotta feed myself, so I gotta go over and buy a fridge and then buy some food to put in it. Oh, it's closed. Right. Okay, I can sleep on park benches. Okay, I will, um, that, that doesn't seem odd at all. When do you open? You open in five hours at 10 o'clock. What time is it now? Oh, it's 5.30 in the morning. No wonder the place is closed. Okay, let's take a nap on a bench, because that's a thing we're doing. And we'll wake up at about 9.36, and be right in time. We'll just be the first in line at the appliance store to buy a fridge. Come on, guys, I'm busting down the door to buy a fridge. There we go. Okay, that looks like a fridge. Yep, a standard fridge for 1800 bucks. I've only got 2000 I'm barely going to be able to pay rent. So I've got a fridge in a very, very tiny box. Do I go, go up to the register, and I'm going to place an order for that fridge. All right, I'm waiting in queue, and now I've got a fridge. Now I can leave and haul this fridge by myself, I might add, right back to my apartment. Oh, watch out for the truck! What do I think my kitchen is? I think my kitchen might be over here. So let's place this fridge. Uh, how do we rotate things here? There we go. Place the fridge right over here, and now i got to go buy some food for it. You'd think, is there like a some sort of delivery service I can do? No, it's okay. El Gato Foods is right down the street. All right, fresh food for eight bucks. All right. Uh, oh, I need a shopping basket. Oh, okay, we're, we're very fidgety about this. That's fine. I will get a shopping basket, and I will go shopping now. Okay, fresh food. Uh, I want more than that. I'd like to get a bunch of fresh food if I could. I feel I need to eat more than one day. Now, go over to the register. No, me first. I was in line first. Oh, and I got my little shopping bag. Oh, watch out for the car. I've got my little shopping bag here. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. I Well, I did just move in. I'm not familiar with the neighborhood yet. Back down to the apartment, throw the stuff in the fridge, and have a bite to eat. So, eat some food. Done and done. All right, what time is it? It's only noon. I've got plenty I can be doing today. Uh, page your first rent. Won't pay the next. Got to get out there and get a job. Get a job. At the local supermarket. Okay, that sounds fair. That would be back to El Gato Foods. I hope they're hiring. Otherwise, this is going to be a very, very short trip. Pop in and... Oh, job board. I see it right down there. Job available. Good, they're hiring. Excellent. So what have we got here? Serving customers at the cash register. Okay, a cashier job. Fine. Twenty twenty-five $25 an hour for a cashier job. That's a really good rate. I will definitely accept that job. So it looks like I got a day off today. They're not asking me to start immediately. I work tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Well, probably the best thing I can do is just go home and sleep. You know, I want to be well rested for my cashier job. So do that. And then I want to wake up at, oh, I don't know, 7.30? That sound up? No, not eight eleven. I'll be right. I'll be late for work. Start sleeping. I'll wake up at quarter past seven. I'll. I. I'd like to say I'll grab a shower, but I. I have no shower. So sorry to the people who work with me at Elgato. I'm gonna be a little ripe. Show an initiative here. Half an hour early for work. Look at that. Yep. Hi, fellow employees. I'm very excited to have my first day here at Elgato. Uh, do, do you need me to help this person? No. Okay. Do you need me to help anyone at all? Can I just take over your? Yes. Assign myself, please. 
time machine to the end of shift. Yes, thank you very much. All right, a good day's work there. Now what? Continue working until I have 300 bucks. Oh, well, this is easy enough. Just go home, get a bite to eat, and go back in tomorrow. At 25 bucks an hour, I'll have that in no time. A quick 15-hour nap, and I will be ready to reassume my position back at Elgato. How do I do? 131 in profit. I obviously own no businesses. I'm sure, I probably paid rent in there somewhere. Okay, get back down to the supermarket, bust out the whole cashier thing. In fact, I'm just, I'm going to take over your position. I am more than qualified to do this. Yes, checkout counter. Let me, just go, go on break, man. I'll, I got this. Well, there we go. 300 bucks for two days work. No problem. Now take out a loan for $15,000. Oh, goodness. $15,000. Um... I mean, I do make a fairly decent wage here. I might be able to pay that back. Go over to Jensen Capital over here. I want to go to extra, extra, extra gananas, extra ganana, extra gan. I have no idea what that means, but I desperately want to go in there. Oh, come on. This is some sort of scam, right? This is totally a sham office here. Oh, this Larry, I don't trust you. Um, apparently, Larry, I want $15,000. I, I don't really. I'm actually doing pretty well at Elgato, and I think I'm up for assistant manager. I will confirm that. Yeah, Dad, Larry is happy to hand me $15,000. Really, just happy to hand me this. You've never met me before in your life. All right, now we got to rent something here. So over to Vugal Maps. What have we got? We've got some filters here. So I want, what did you want me to do? A retail building. Okay, buildings for rent. There we go. That's what I want. Turn on the retail filter. Oh, there's quite a few. There's one right down the street here. What's that going for? Uh, open, yeah, open it up in Bizman. 3,000 deposit, some uh, electricity, daily rent of 100. That's not bad. 15 people can get in the building, and it looks like maybe about 29 are going to walk by. Interesting. It's in the garment district. Okay. It's actually got a pretty good market value, too, I assume, for this area. Um, not, not yet. Yeah, you know what? Just grab it. Just grab it. Okay, yeah, let's start a new business here. So he wanted me to start a gift shop. So Dave's Awesome Gifts is open for business. There we go. Uh, open in Econo View, maybe. We'll do that. We're not going to do any promotion, obviously, right now. Satisfaction, we haven't we haven't sold a darn thing to anybody at this point, so that's all fine. Uh, we do not have a register or checkout counter or a stack of shopping baskets. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's get out of all of this. Go, go back to this. All right, what's my goal here? What's my goal? Uh, pick up a car. Okay, we, we'll certainly consider doing that, but... Oh, uh, wait, 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 watch the truck. Okay, watch the truck. Let's just go over to the appliance store and get the things that we need. So we need a cash register. That is, oh, 900 bucks for a cash register. Okay, that's a lot. Now, can I get um, my checkout counter uh, or the shopping baskets or anything like that at the same time? Do you guys even sell shopping baskets? Is that a thing that I, yeah, you do. Oh, wait, no, that's a hand truck. That might be fun. Oh, there's shopping baskets. Okay. Can I get these too? Mm, no. Okay, so I can only buy one thing at a time. That's mildly fussy. I'd like to not have to come back here later. I will place that order. I'm going to wait in line, and then I get my thing. Now, I guess I have to go all the way back to my store. Oh, sorry, I got hit by a truck. I go back to my store, and then put this down, and then kind of start all over again. Well, it's a rinky-dink little place here. All right, let's place this uh, sort of... I need a counter of some sort. Uh, no, don't don't remove the content of it. That would be terrible. Yeah, I need some sort of some sort of countertop. That's that's not going to fly at all. Uh, no opening hours, stack of shopping baskets, and it's out of paper bags. Wait, what now? Do I have to order those? How, how do I how do I go about ordering those? No, that's just, that's just uh, putting it back down. Okay, I'll have to figure that out in a bit. I'm v it's very complicated. I've got to go buy some stuff. Oh, well, that's no good. The place is closed. All right, well, let's go get the car then. If we've got nothing else to do, let's go get a car. 
Uh, I have a day off from Elgato tomorrow. That's good. I'm kind of setting up another business behind their back. Boy, are they going to be surprised. Uncle Fred's car is quite a long way away. I probably should not be running down the street. Uh, it's jogging. I'm exercising. Everybody out of my way. I'm a pedestrian. I always have the right of way. Okay, I've got a car. I'm very... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I've got... I've got a car. Okay, I'm um, just going to very quietly move this down the street. All of a sudden, it's Grand Theft Auto. Uh, green light. Okay, so keep going here. Just going to take this out for a bit of a test drive, Uncle Fred. Yeah, just a um, totally, totally normal person driving nor- Oh, wow! You just crashed! Uh, hang on, hang on. Back up, back up. Back. Are you okay? Do you need me to call emergency services or anything? You good? Okay, I'm just gonna keep moving on. New car, you understand. Oh, I ran a red light. I ran a red light. Okay, are there cops in this game? Because I totally just ran a red light. Wow, traffic is bad in this part of town. Um, where am I going? Oh, the appliance store. Right, it's the middle of the night, though. I should probably just find a park bench to sleep on like a hobo. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Sorry, a little bit of a fender bender there. Totally just ran a red light and cut that guy off. That was great. I'm liking this. This is fun. I'm a complete lunatic here. I'm gonna park. Wait, can I sleep in the car? Oh, wow! Okay! Five car pile up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. I know. I know. You stop honking. I know. I have nothing to see here. Just pulling in to park like a totally... No oh, sorry. Like a totally normal person here. Uh, but I... Okay, parallel parking is not my strong suit right now. Just, um... Just park, man. Just park. Just park. Park the vehicle. Okay, um, I'm better at walking. Now, I can store stuff in the car. So, it kind of blows that I have to buy things one at a time, but I can come out, put them in the car, and then, you know, get some more stuff. I would like to buy a counter of some sort that I can put my cash register on. So, I'm going to buy this. And how much money do I have left? I still got $11,000. I'm fine. Everything's fine. All right, so how about we put the counter in in the car how do I how do I do that I want to do that I can't I don't want to discard it nope uh, manage storage again okay counter one I don't want to discard it I want to put it in in the trunk okay possibly a demo thing don't know it seems like that's the obvious thing we should be doing is buying multiple things putting them in the car like a normal person driving them to where you want to go like very real life experience there but it doesn't seem to want to do that. So I'm just going to... Thankfully, my place is right around the corner here. It's going to take a very, very long time to get this all set up. Okay, took me a few trips, but I've got everything that I need set up here. So i got my counter with my cash register on it. I've got a shelf that I've set to cheap gifts, because what else would it be? And I've got my shopping basket. I have no opening hours to find, and I need to get paper bags in some way. So if we open this up... All right, what if we start with hours uh schedule is that what we're doing here okay opening hours let's say we open at nine how about not nine do we there we go okay so well all right eight's good enough we could peel that back to nine and then we'll open say until six how about that nine to six that's decent all right now cash register how do we deliveries delivery contracts i don't have anything about that inventory all right, I'm looking for where do I buy these paper bags that I so desperately need. Uh, no, I, I did. Uh, no, my rounded shelf is out of cheap gifts. Okay, how do I how do I order stuff? Oh, hang on, we're ignoring all of that. I just found interior designer. Uh, can I shift click this, or do I have, no? I have to set it one at a time. Okay, that's fine. I uh, do need to decorate first. We're doing exposed brick because I love exposed brick. It's a really great look. And all of that. No, one there and one there. Oh, I have a bathroom at least. That's cool. Let's get... Yeah, we're, we're not doing anything until, until the place looks pretty. How about on the floor? Yeah, I kind of like this. That That's okay. Zoom out a little bit. Maybe something a little bit... Yeah, that looks a little cooler. Let's do uh, all of this. I can't drag it out, unfortunately. But we're not stopping until the place looks okay. Ah, there's a wholesale store. Okay, that makes me way more sense. I thought I'd be able to do this just from the shelf or something. No, there's an actual wholesale store. Uh, what time is it? That place is probably going to close. Metro oh, I could take the car. No, we've had issues with the car in the past, haven't we, Dave? Let's just jog there. It'll be good for our heart rate. Also, I should go home and eat and sleep at some point. I am 
basically starving to death and I'm about to drop from exhaustion, but we're going to the wholesale market anyway. I just want to get the store set up first and then we'll go in. Please be open, by the way. Oh, you are. Super. Uh, right. What do we do here? Cheap mail clothing. Uh, soda cans. Wait, no actual soda, just the cans. Oh, they're all different. Salad. This is an entire shelf of salad. Wow. Uh, fresh food. Okay, we've got got a lot to be looking at here. Uh, hold the alt to show all labels. I will. Oh, that is way easier. You're right, Uncle Fred. I totally should have taken the car because now I'm going to have to come back and get the other things that I need. So I got the cheap gifts. Now I got to go. Oh, it's a long way back to Dave's awesome gifts with a big box of cheap gifts in your hands. Okay, should have taken the car. Lesson learned. Also, should go home and sleep. I should probably tell Elgato that I'm not coming in. I have zero intention of coming in to their place of business. So get that in there. Okay, 1,000 paper bags in. Quit my job. Sorry, Elgato. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, no surprise when I stocked up my cheap gifts, they're all coffee cups. This game knows me perfectly. So I sell coffee mugs, coffee cups, and uh, nothing else. In fact, nothing else. Start working at the cash register. We are, we're, well, we'll be open. I said nine to, what, nine to six. So we're going to be open very, very soon. I'm just going to sit tight, probably uh, arrange my coffee mugs in a very, very decorative manner if I can, and then wait for the first customer. Oh, oh, there's my first sale. Sorry, sorry, I was I was assigned to the cash register. I was trying to make this thing go away because I didn't want a time machine to the end of shift. I actually want to watch all this and it won't go away. So I'm just going to kind of look at it over here. There, Thank you for your business, sir. Enjoy your coffee mug. That's, that's basically all we do here. But really, do you need anything but that? Okay, so if I now time machine to the end of my shift, I'd like to see how much money we make. I see nobody else came in. I don't think anyone else came in in that time. I, I think we sold... Two coffee mugs. Two. Uh, apparently the place is dirty and needs to be cleaned. How do I... How do I go about doing that? I have no idea how to clean the place. Do I... I click on something? I don't see a mop around here. I see a hand cart. But I don't see any kind of mop. Oh my god, my bathroom is locked. Oh, game over. I'm almost out of fresh food, too. I've only got one left. I feel a little weird going back to Elgato after I quit with no notice and after only two days' employment. Let's sleep through. That's going to wake me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's a little much. How about we said 6.30? Actually, say 7.30, and that'll give me time to get over to the store in time to open. Now, apparently I made 270 in profit. That's not bad for selling effectively a couple of coffee mugs. I should, when I get to work, I should look at my pricing, see what we're charging for this kind of nonsense. Well, no surprise, our best-selling product was the cheap gift, quickly followed by the paper bag. 680 bucks gross profit margin. Interesting. I want to see a better breakdown of this. So you're saying it was 200 and something in profit, so let's see, we're going to remove our rent from that. Probably utilities are deducted from that 680. Okay, I mean, sales are fine. We're making a profit at this point. Let's see what day two brings. Oh, here we go, here we go. In econo view, now I can get a better breakdown of this. We did 680 in sales yesterday. Okay, expenses are 100. That's the rent on the building. Got it. Salaries are zero because I'm not paying myself anything. And then resources, we paid for, obviously, the cheap gifts and the paper bags. So my total profit, 38807 Not bad. I can live with that for only selling coffee mugs. Oh, two days in business and I'm already off to business school. The Manhattan Business School is right here. We need to complete basic management. Oh, right there. Basic management, fundamental business administration. Uh, yeah, I will go ahead and learn this. It's going to cost me 30 bucks. How long do you want me to do this? I'm just going to do the whole thing. I'm completely blowing off my, my own business right now. I need to study business so I can be... Yes, I know. I know people are probably just coming in and stealing coffee mugs. It It's basically fine. All right, start a recruitment campaign for customer service employees at Anderson Recruitment Co. Okay, where do they live? Okay, it's honor system at Dave's Awesome Gifts. Just go in, grab a coffee mug... Pay whatever you feel. 
you know what, pay whatever you feel. Pay a little more, pay a little less. If you desperately need a coffee mug and you don't have any money, you can go ahead and grab one. I, I've got a couple hundred of them, as I recall. I'm stuck on a tree. So I want to see a customer service rep for Dave's awesome gift. And they can be any age, any age. I know we're open and there's nobody there. I'm very, very busy doing other things and I didn't have the wherewithal to just close the business. Okay, wait for the agency to send me some contacts. How about there's... Wow, that's a lot of money. Uh, sure, five of them. Yeah, days to deliver immediately. I need uh, you. Do you want to work? I, I like we're open right now. I will start you immediately. Wait, I can grab a cab. Hang on, I can grab a cab. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Uh, don't waste any time. Go right over to here. Yep, travel here for twenty three bucks. It's around the corner. Twenty three bucks for that? I know. I'm. I know we're open. Sorry. I'm sorry you weren't being helped. I'm sort of vaguely trying to do this. Is Elgato still open? Can I swing in here? Yeah, I can. Ah, uh, sorry, guys. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. You're, you're kind of bummed that I need a shopping basket. You're kind of bummed that I quit with no notice. I get it. I get it. So I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, you see. Uh, I don't actually do very well at that because I open my business and then just leave, uh, leaving the place wide open for people to come in. Excuse me, me first, for people to come in and steal my coffee mugs. But I'm on, I'm on the upswing. Oh, hang on. We're not doing anything. I found out you can change the type of the sign. So uh, how about that and that and then, I don't know, what's type two? Show me type two. What does that do? Eh, it's okay. It's all right. It, I think it's exactly the same as the one before. Uh, are we open yet? We are not. Uh, there. Ah, waiting for my contacts to come in. Okay. Anderson Recruitment. Who have you got? Yasmin. All right. 51% customer service and you can clean the place too. Full time. Yep. Five days a week. Uh, we should probably close some days, but yeah, you know, it's a retail store. You're kind of open all the time. Uh, yeah, you're in. You're hired. Is that it? I asked for five. Can you not give me any more than that? There's really only one person who wants to sell coffee mugs. I don't think that's true. Okay, so Yasmin, how do I, how do I make you like do that? There you go. Oh no 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 no! I didn't I didn't want to do that. Oh, it's the end of the demo. Oh okay. Then that, that's it. So all we can do is hire Yasmin. Uh, I've had her come in before we're open and she's leaving before we close, but I'm sure it's all going to work out fine with that. So I guess that is the end of the demo of Big Ambitions. You know what? I could do more of this. I kind of like it. It's, it's weird and it's odd and some parts of it are really kind of janky and not okay, but something is in here. There's something in here that's wanting to pull me back to this game. I like a good business game where you kind of start from nothing and build up. I could live without having to drive back and forth between all the stores to do these things. Hopefully, at some point, we can just order things through the phone, like 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 normal people. Like when you really own a business, you just call people up and go, hey, could you bring me a fridge, please? And they're like, yeah, totally, because we definitely deliver fridges. We're a fridge store. We're going to put a fridge in a truck and bring it over to you so you don't have to come and get it in your tiny little car. So that is the demo of Big Ambitions. Guys, do please let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.